Hello everybody and welcome to Working Title Productions. My name is Ben, his name is Ed, and today we're back with another Watchers episode. Today we're watching one of the most popular and widely regarded movies of all time, Pulp Fiction. And I'm actually going to pause this just to start with, yep, just definitely. while we do the intro. Um, and this is a really great one, because most people love this movie. Um, mm, and it's a lot of people's favourite Tarantino, as well. Yeah, so we're expecting people to be slightly interested in this. But we don't love this movie, do we, Ed? I mean, I think I do love it, but it's definitely not my favourite Tarantino. Not even close. Mm. Like, it's, <clears throat> it's a good movie. Yeah. But also, mm, definitely one of the more overrated ones yeah. I've ever seen. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on this. I feel like we Yeah, we're a long way out, aren't we? Woo! We should leave that in, actually. <laughs> as horrible as it is leaving in. Yeah, so this is going to be a very interesting one for us to watch. Um, hopefully we haven't made you all leave already. But yeah, we're here. We're going to re-watch the movie. Maybe we'll change our minds. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We're here. Ed's got it on Blu-ray. We felt like watching it. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully everybody loves it. So let's do this thing. Now I'm going to get my pizza. Uh, Tim Roth is so good. You know when you go on like this, what you sound like? You sound like a simple fucking man. Everybody, you call it the robbery! Was this his second feature film? Wow. I know, right? Reservoir Dogs and then this. Christopher Walken! Yeah. Bruce Willis. Oh, hey, I think Tarantino is biggest role. I actually love these old style credits at the beginning of the movie. You know what I'm saying about Europeans? What? It's just like really close to my head. Alright, but you can walk into a movie theater and have a beer. And I don't mean just like a little paper cup, I'm talking about a glass of beer. And in Paris, you can buy beer at McDonald's. And you know what they call it? Quarter pound of cheese uh, in Africa. They don't call it quarter pound of cheese. I got the metrics. There's the door. Mayonnaise is an abomination. Get fucked. Mayonnaise is delicious. Mayonnaise is the worst. Tell us in the comments, mayonnaise or tomato sauce. Come on. Mayonnaise sucks. It's unequivocally one of the worst things you can put on anything. So bad. Oh my god. What now to be fair, I did have mayonnaise on my burger yesterday. But that's because you can't choose what you get. I probably could have said more than mayonnaise. What did you eat alive that died crawling yeah, to your heart? You wow. Mayonnaise just sucks, man. Yeah. Mayonnaise is the best. And you can get so many variations. This is a garlic mayonnaise, spicy mayonnaise. He survived the four story drop. It's impressive. Yeah, he's smelling. Yes, because Samoans are impervious to falling. Aren't they? You don't think he overreacted? 
Yeah, yeah like my nice Andrew had no idea how biology works. I'm the guy from joking about the Samoans. <laughs> Not about the mayonnaise! The mayonnaise is so bad! <laughs> mayonnaise. Let's just watch the movie. I don't want to do this. Just continuing with the entire team's obsession with feet. Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, Reservoir Dogs, that's right. And it's, um, the what's his face? Ability. The guy that dances the to, um, stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle of you, yeah. In your days are just about poker. Wouldn't you have loved to have seen a Vega Brothers movie? No, that's a hard so, motherfucking fact of life. Vic Vega. Vic, that's, Vic, that's life, yeah. Vicky and Vincent. Played by Michael Madsen. Yep. Yeah. See, this business is filled to the brim. Very good at shooting people when they're high. Hmm. Tarantino. Yeah. Got some experience, maybe. Maybe. Like just the way he shoots everything to demonstrate. Mm, so fast. Yeah. Don't do drugs. I love it when they bring you the leftovers. Yeah, right? Oh my god. That is service. And it's got the cherry so on top, good. and the froth is there on the top, but it's not too thick yeah. in the bottom. It's no. yeah. Leave the cherry out of it. Really? Yes. Oh, I like the presentation. Be my guest. I gotta know where to find out what shake tastes like. <clears throat> you can use my straw, I have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. Thing on your burger is gonna fall at the bottom, you silly woman. Oh, oh. how'd she pick it up? I looked down at the wrong time. She picked it up from the front or something. It's he's already, he's oh, only like, no. I, I, look at oh, it. No. Look at it. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god, she's gonna rip the bun in half, too. I know. Oh my god, oh. <laughs> hold it from the bottom. Obviously, Ben and I are very experienced burger eaters <laughs> that were very outraged. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I once like, had like four chicken burgers from four different places four days in a row. Nice. 
That's when I, ja- I've, that's, I've that's, not done that. That's when James and I were rushing to plan the Christmas Cat Ray last year. Oh, okay. And so we were like meeting up every single day until we always, so we went to a different place every day for lunch. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, my finger's running out of puff. I'm not making a noise. Look at his face, he's like staring so intensely. Because he's high! This all happens after the final scene, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant I thought you meant the final scene in chronological order, and I was just like, "Come on!" <laughs> now I just want to go twist dancing. <laughs> You can find another partner. Wait, you're not gonna two stands with me? No, it's alright. You know what we should have done? We knew this was coming, so we should have got the camera set up and we should have done the two stands while they were doing it on the screen. Would have made for a great video. <laughs> Maybe? You seriously overestimate my dancing abilities. It's only twisting. Bum, 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 bum. Love this cover of this song. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't find, don't let them make up your mind. Look at it. It's just trying to figure his way out of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't that heroin? Yes! Yeah, you're not meant to do that with heroin. No. See what I mean? World's dumbest drug drug addict. Yeah. As if you wouldn't answer the phone. He's a, yeah, he's a drug dealer. You think he, he, your phone is your business? <sighs> this is a long ring. Part of the movie, my favorite part of the movie. Oh my god, is this? Yes. <coughs> this is totally unrelated to the rest of the movie, isn't it? Oh, it oh. provides context for why I love the watch what? so much. I sure heard much about you. Hopefully, you'll never have 
has experienced this yourself, but when two men are in a situation of being a dead one for as long as we were, you take on certain responsibilities of the other. If you believe, I made it. Made you cool as you could talk and lighten out of my son, Jim. The way it turned out. So good. Mm. What if Mojo's rated that as Chris Falken's best performance of all time? It is. That was captivating. I would personally say True Romance, but that's okay. That was a lot more Bruce Willis stick than I was expecting. Just for a moment, I thought they'd been able to masterfully cover it up. Yeah. He just throws the tail away for a second. I'm like, nope, there it is. Reckon he likes the watch? Uh, maybe. It's a bit of a wild guess. Mm. So very clever, doesn't go right outside his house. Parks it couple a couple of blocks away? It's not a couple of blocks, is it? It's only a couple of yards. Wait and see. He has to cut across like this whole this whole thing. Oh does. Yeah, he's gonna... I've forgotten this. Okay, yeah, a couple of blocks. Oh, maybe like one block. Yeah. It's still very clever. This is really funny. Oh yeah, it doesn't uh muscle it's like walk out right in front of me. <laughs> Why you don't run red lights, kids? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> this whole part is so unnecessary. Yeah. So frustrating. You don't have an opinion. You got to have an opinion. I mean, if you get that God came down from heaven and stopped him. Oh, fuck's out in the mouth. Oh, man. Oh, man. I should have popped him in the face. Why would you do that? I didn't even do it accident. Oh, man. I see some crazy ass shit in my tail. But just chill out, man. I told you it was an extra problem. Bump man, I'm trying to hit the Jimmy, Jewel, okay? Don't fucking Jimmy me. There's nothing that you're gonna say that's gonna make me. Jerk 
Quentin Tarantino just ran out of money in the budget to hire one more actor? Or did he just really want to be in his own movie? So he was home from work and oh, he's always in his own movies. <laughs> Like he's in Django Unchained for no reason at all. Oh, that's so funny though. He's amazing in Django. Well then do it, and then get the fuck out of my house before she gets here. Cool in the gang, you know, you don't want to fuck your shit up. All of those common people get them burned your sand, that's all. Amazing. How? How do you cut down two thirds of the travel time? It's hard to tell, don't question it. Jimmy, right? This is your house? Sure is. How much the wolf? Solve problems. Good, we got them. I solve problems. Oh, yeah, please do. You must be Jules. And now we get some fantastic narrative framing. And then put maple syrup on. Why the butter? I don't know, Ed. I don't put butter on anything. Same. That's Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. Which took way longer than I thought it would. It's a long movie. It is. It's not its longest. <sighs> hey, Flight. No. Very long. Ooh, my back. Uh, well, yeah. That's definitely a good movie. And that was actually a lot better for the second viewing. The first time I watched it, I was like, whatever. Second time around, I'm like, I see why people love it so much, but I just can't. And give it that love status. It's just not so supreme that I put it that highly. It's a really, really good movie. It's certainly up to the quality that is Tarantino standard. Mm. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what the bloody hell you were doing watching this, but you should definitely go see it if you haven't seen it already. Uh, yeah, Ed, any thoughts? Yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, it's got like. A bunch of great performances and stuff, and it's like everyone's really good, and the writing's really funny, and all that sort of stuff. But I feel like overall the movie just lacks direction. Ironically, like it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, well, it doesn't really go anywhere. No, it's just a bunch of things. That it's, it's, just, it's just a bunch the of scenes, cool scenes. The scenes are captivating. Yeah, that is true, and it ignores all narrative tendencies. Yeah. Sort of half ignores them, half keeps them. Mm. Yeah, to what know. end that's meant to work is up for debate. I know yeah, a lot for of me, I just it. find just bastards and Django and Reservoir Dogs just so much better just because they have, like, they know exactly what they want to be and where they're going. Well, I would say that this film knows what it wants to be and it chooses to not know where it's going. Yeah. Or it knows exactly where it's going and it just chooses to tell a very non-linear story mm. and ju everything just happens mm. which is kind of true of life but yeah it's yeah people talk about it like it's a masterpiece I don't personally think it's a masterpiece no. look comment down below let us know if you think we're a bunch of uneducated twats uh, we'll try not to be offended mm. this is the internet you've got to have some hard skin after all if you like what you've seen here you can subscribe you can share this with all your friends if you want we'd greatly appreciate that we also have a Facebook page you can check out facebook.com forward slash working title YouTube you can find us on Twitter I'm at BenjWaters01 or lowercase he's at Edward Nowak um, I believe the in the end uppercase on there or is it all lowercase no, it's all lowercase Edward Nowak all lowercase my apologies all right, Sorry. thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're still here and you're still watching, thank you so much, and we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.